the seventh and final stage of the UAE Tour would take the riders over a 153 kilometer route, the second shortest uh, road stage of the week, towards the second summit finish, the final assault of Jebel Hafid. And uh, two intermediate sprints along the way contested, or at least not contested, by the riders in the early break of the day. Sam Wellsford uh, made it up and in there for Team DSM. He was joining Michael Hessman, Ignatis Konovalovus, Maurice Ballerstedt, and Jako Hanninen. The team's jockeying for position on the approach to the final 11-kilometer climb of the day. Jebel Hafid playing host to the best climbers of the race, including Adam Yates, a rider with an enviable record in the event. And uh, Luke Plapp and Peo Bilbao trying desperately to stay on terms and close to the man in red. Remco Evenepoel, nine seconds to the good at the beginning of the day's activities. And Adam Yates and the outer reaches of the top 10, his major objective stage honors. And Yates leaving Remco Evenepoel, the race leader, within the final three kilometers. A drag race to the top between the leading two contenders. Behind them, Plapp and Bill Bow working hard to try and limit their losses and maintain a position on the podium. Yates, his prime objective, to achieve a fourth successive podium finish on this uh, particular event and in the climb to Jebel Hafid, looking for a second victory on Jebel Hafid in his last three assaults on the climb. And Dooley crossing the line, arms aloft to take a second stage victory of the week for the UAE Team Emirates squad. Ten seconds ahead of Remco Evenepoel, whose second place on the day would extend his advantage. Ultimately, 59 seconds ahead of Luke Plapp would remain in second place and on the winner's podium. Yates' efforts would vault him up to third overall, just a single second behind Luke Plapp, and just a few seconds ahead of Peo Bilbao, who was pushed off the podium at the final effort. The attack with three kilometers to go, and Coevenepoel not able to resist the efforts of the climbing English superstar. Stage honours then for Adam Yates. And the UAE team member squad would take the team classification as well. Tim Merlier did enough to secure the points classification. And Edward Planker to the intermediate sprints classification. Yates with a great stage victory. Jeffrey Bouchard climbing to third for the AG Towards Citron squad. But no one to touch. Remco Evenepoel present at every major appointment during the week. Ultimately, 59 seconds to the good with Adam Yates in third. Not your first time winning uh, Jabal Afit, but uh, this one is special. It was much needed. Yeah, I just want to say like a big thank you to the team. You know, even before I joined, they, uh, they believed in me and uh, trusted me. And uh, yeah, big thank to them. And, uh, victories for the team. The question this morning was a tactic or all out. Uh, what was the tactic when you decided with 3K to go? I think I said to you, uh, it's a bit of both now. Um, the tactic was to go full gas at the bottom. Um, we had nothing to lose. You know, I was so far down the GC already after the crossman stages. Um, we just had to go all out from the bottom and uh, see what happened, you know. And the guys did an amazing job. Um, you know, I attacked quite early, but I knew I had to, to, to push really hard to try and drop the guys. and. Uh, yeah, finally I managed to do it. Uh, what went through your mind with 1K to go? Tomorrow's dad's about to be sick, it's so hot. It's like, uh, I'm, I'm losing my voice now. It's like uh, 37, 38 uh, degrees out there. And uh, yeah, it's just so hot that you are, uh, you know, luckily we had some swan, swan years on the side of the road to pour water on me halfway up. Um, and yeah, I'm just really happy to win. And happy to be on the final podium? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what it was I saw on TV just briefly, but uh, you know, the start of the day wasn't really the, the goal. It was just trying try to win the stage, and uh, we managed to do that, so super happy. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Remco, tell us about the last uh, three kilometers. Oh, yeah, it was hard. Uh, yeah, I uh, I thought Yates was just going to stay in my wheel and uh, and then jump in the last few hundred meters. Uh, I would be happy with that. But in the end, I still had to go uh, over the limit to, to keep up with him. Uh, yeah, I think I came closer uh, towards the end, but then also my legs just uh, ran out of energy because we went super fast over the climb, especially in the first few uh, few kilometers. Uh, I lost all my teammates, and uh, then Yates attacked, and I was uh, 
I was the only one together with Chris in his wheel and then uh, a few moments later uh, we were alone and then uh, yeah I just uh, decided to, to do my own high pace and then uh, I knew we was going to try something still but I, uh, I was really happy I could always see him in front of me so then I knew the, the overall victory was, uh, was quite safe. And it's an overall victory by one minute, it's a lot isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot, of course. I think for this race it's quite a lot, but uh, yeah, I think it's. Uh, I can be really happy with my overall victory. I was there every day. Uh, on the two mountain stages, I was second, and uh, maybe with some more luck, we win the Jebel Jai stage. But of course, uh, the last days, the main goal was to keep this red jersey. Um, yeah, and I think we can uh, be super proud. We win three stages and go home with the overall victory. Uh, for myself, I do two times second, and I was there in the Echelon stage. So. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, there are only good signs towards uh, the Giro, and I'm really happy with my first victory as a world champion. Let's talk about the Giro. It's the second stage race you win with the red jersey after La Vuelta. There is some pink waiting for you in Italy. What do you make of today's stage ahead of the Giro? Uh, yeah, I think I can be really proud. Uh, it's uh, my, my first... Uh, race that I came to, to try and do a good GC. Uh, I didn't go on altitude yet, I will go in a few days. So uh, I can only improve and I can be really happy and proud with the shape I already have now. The teammates were, are looking very good as well. So uh, only good signs and we have to continue like this. But uh, like I said, I'm really proud to win this beautiful race because also uh, my wife is Moroccan, so I think it's pretty special for, uh, for her and for me to win a race in, uh, in the Emirates, so uh, yeah. I think I can go home with really good feelings and uh, with a lot of, uh, of yeah, let's say uh, that we can all be proud. Thank you very much. Thank you.